Shalom to you. Shalom. In this video, we'll look at triangle inequalities. All right. All right. We'll see the how the measurement of the sides corresponds to the measurement of the angles, how they are related in triangles. So the simple thing is every angle relates to the side opposite it. So if the side is small, this angle is the largest angle, it's going to be the side opposite it is going to be the longest to compare with all the other side also. So if this as, uh, angle is the smallest angle, then the side opposite it will be the shortest side of the triangle. So that's that simple. Again, trace a line from the angle to the side. They are related. So if one is small, once the side is small, the angle will be small to compare with all the other three angles as well. So let's apply. They ask us to draw this in, um, order it from least to greatest from least. So we're going from the least, which is the smallest angle. Here we have an angle. So which one is smallest? 54, 89, 37. 37 is the smallest angle. If 37 is the smallest angle, so we trace it. So side BC is going to be the smallest side. So we say BC is going to be less. So after 30 angle 37, which one follows 54 is the second. So and 54 is opposite side AB. So AB is going to be next which is less than, and then the longest is opposite side AC. So side AC is the longest because the angle opposite side AC, which is B, is the largest angle. How about this one? We are given the sides. Now we have to get the, large, the angle from least to greatest. So which side is the smallest? 21, 26, 17. 17 is the smallest. So if 17 is the smallest side, the angle opposite it should be angle R. So angle R is the smallest. Or oh, this is angle. <laughs> this is angle. So this is less. So they don't look almost like alike. I'll just maybe do this. Let's make it wider just to differentiate that. And then 17 to 21. So 21 is opposite angle P. So we have angle P is less and then 226 angle Q. So that's the order of increasing. Okay, just simple. Another thing is uh, the triangle inequality theorem. For a triangle to form, there has to be certain number of the sides. Otherwise, it won't be closed. Triangle has to be closed, and for that to be closed, there has to be a proportion between the numbers to the sides. So here, the the labeled in colored in red, the each two side. If you add them, the sum has to be again is the sum. The sum has of to each every two side has to be greater than the other one, and it doesn't make sense to say that one side of angle is is larger than when you put the other two sides together. So side BC. B, C, B plus C has to be greater than A. Again, it does not equal. If they are equal, it means they, they are touching, but they are not hooking together. They have to be closed. So here, you see the side in blue, F and D. If you add them, they must be greater than E, the other side. And here, side G and H, if you add them, they must be greater than I. If these three things has to apply, if none of them, if a one of them fails, it means those two, those uh, lines cannot form triangle. Okay, can the side length form a triangle explain? So for us, we have to experiment it. Of course, we could test each one of them. We say 5 plus 13 is greater than 7, sure. But if you notice, take one of the biggest side 
if you add 13 plus 7, it has to be greater than 7. If I add 7 plus 13, it must be greater than 5, which is very clear because the one big one is already bigger. So it's easier to just add the two smaller ones. Okay, that checks it. So if we add two smaller ones, so we take the 5 and the 7. So if 5 plus 7 is 12. And we see 12 is less than 13. But 12 supposed to be, the sum has to be greater. Since 12 is less than 13, that means no triangle. No triangle because, it says explain, you're going to say because 5 plus 7 is less than 13. That's, that's the explanation. Because we added them, the sum is less. How about this one? Again, we could do all three, but since 12 is already bigger, it's bigger than 6, it's bigger than 9. So if we add each one of them, it's going to be bigger than the other. So we can take the two smaller ones. So we do 6 plus 9. 6 plus 9 is 15. And then 15 is greater than 12. So we take the other one that is left. 15 is greater than 12. That's what we want. So check. Yes. Yes, the form triangle. Form a triangle because six plus nine is greater than twelve. Okay, because that's the one we used to check it, and it works. Every other one it must work. Okay, how about this one? Again, it's easy to just pick the the two smaller smaller ones, ten and fifteen. So if we add 10 plus 15 is 25. Well, 25 happened to be equal to 25. So no, even if it's equal, no, they are just touching. They are, it doesn't close up. So no triangle. No triangle because, because 10 plus 15 is equal to Five, not greater than it. It has to be greater than it. Okay, here is a challenge. How would you solve this one? If you look at it, there's a, a dilemma here because you have two triangles. This angle is the smallest, the largest, the middle. But if you come here, both of them share one side. This side would be the largest because of the largest angle here. But if you look at this other triangle, A, B, D, angle A seems to be the smallest and the angle A is opposite the same angle, the same line that is the largest for the other triangle. So how do you deal with this kind of thing? So we know we need to label all the five sides. So we have to kind of create five numbers. I would start with one for my smallest. So just make up like maybe one inch two inch whatever you know it's not exact but just to know the largest and the smallest we don't care about the exact measurement they are because we don't know so but here we, if we start with this triangle here angle 30 is the smallest so bc should be number one should be the smallest side okay and then followed by angle 30 which is opposite dc so dc i will label it two i'll just say inches just you know and then uh, DB is going to be 3 because DB is opposite the largest angle. Okay, that triangle is done. But then we go over to triangle ABD. Triangle ABCDB side segment DB is reflexive. So, and it has to be 3. We cannot change it. It has to remain what it is. Since it is, you know, 3 inches, but angle 55 is the largest angle, um, it's the smallest angle for this triangle. And so 3 should be the smallest measurement we get for the side length then. Then followed by 65, so it's going up from 55 to 65. 65 is opposite AD, so AD should take 4 then. And the last one is 60. Oops, sorry. Sorry, that's, that's wrong. Um... 
it should be you go from 55 to 60 actually so 60 this should take 4 and then 65 opposite 80 should take 5 and so the smallest we are asked to count the shortest and the longest so the shortest shortest is bc and the longest is ad and if you decide to do this triangle first you're gonna get the same thing let's say if you started from this triangle and thought the okay angle 55 is the smallest you give this one and then you give this two and then you give this three but then you go back to this triangle you still use the same idea that db is reflexive so it's going to be one the over over here if it is one and then this angle is the largest so one should be the longest side for this triangle so everything else should be less than one therefore this triangle here opposite here will be maybe 0 0.5 or something less than one and then this one will be you know 0 0.2 or something like that but you will still find out that bc is the shortest and ad is the longest okay